Hey, uh, this is a this is an unusual one for the channel. It is a uh, more of an impromptu video. It is an off the cuff recording about a film that isn't even a horror film, but I've got a lot of thoughts on it, and we're pre-stream, so why not? Let's just go for it. I want to talk about The Father, which was an Oscar-winning film for Anthony Hopkins that came out last year and really did some quite amazing things. I, I am not going to do a full review because, frankly, I think a definitive work on that has already been done by Mauler. I honestly can't justify doing a full review when Mauler's video basically nails it, uh, so I'm going to leave links to that in the description. But I had a few thoughts on a very different nature, a very different take to Mauler's. They're a bit more symbolic and they're a bit more about filmic connections that I really wanted to highlight. To give a brief overview without going heavy on the spoilers, and I'm, I'm not really going to be spoilery in this movie, but nevertheless, I, I'm, I'm warning you that I'm going to cover some important details. The Father is a film about a father played by Anthony Hopkins as Anthony, and his daughter played mostly by Olivia Colman, and their struggle with his worsening dementia. It is incredibly well done, and watching it made me think of two specific stories and one bit of symbolism, and that's all I'm going to talk about in this review. The first sort of unshakable connection that the father made me think of was to Memento by Christopher Nolan. I mean, the father is essentially Memento, but for dementia, except it does what Memento was famous for so much better. That is to use creative filmmaking to really put you in the subjective mindset of a character. Now, in Memento, we were talking there about short-term memory loss, and this was essentially achieved almost exclusively via editing and editing a story to be out of order. Um, and the fact that it's essentially all done in the editing is shown by the existence of a chronological cut of the film. However, with The Father, this subjective experience is completely integral to the film. The whole film is designed around putting you in the mindset, in the headspace, in the shoes of Anthony as he progresses through his, uh, well, condition, I suppose. Everything works to achieve that effect. The writing, the casting, even the set design pitch in to put you in Anthony's place and help you feel what he feels and experience the world as he is experiencing it. And I think it has to be the most powerful film in terms of achieving that, in terms of creating that empathy with the character. The second really powerful connection brought up by the father for me was this. Many souls. Cattle on the ship, three weeks, she don't go near them. Suddenly we're on Zhen Ying and she's got a drive and knee to commune with the beasts. They weren't cows inside. They were waiting to be, but they forgot. Now they see sky and they remember what they are. It's so bad that what she said makes perfect sense to me. I included this scene with River and the cows because of two reasons. Um, primarily, I'm really pretentious. Um, but secondarily, I think it's key to understanding one of the main themes that I saw in this film. By the end of the film, Anthony has completely forgotten who he is. He, he, he literally doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his own name. Now, the nurse tries to reassure him by telling him his name. She tells him, you're Anthony. But what I think is quite obvious is that in this film especially, that name really means nothing. That name is a signifier really without anything to signify it. Listening to Anthony, he, as Anthony Hopkins is, is very clearly Welsh, he's very clearly from Wales. And not only that, he is he's born in 1937. Just think how much change he has seen, how much he has lived through. It's almost redundant to list all the massive changes that he has seen in his lifetime. Now he's still got that Welsh accent, but he's not in Wales, he's in London, and he's in a very modern multicultural London. He is 
outside of his environment, really. In fact, you never see him go outside. He's kind of stored in flats. He's moved around. He's also separated from a large family. It's it's really just him and his daughter. He's outside of any wider community. What I'm trying to say is telling him his name is pointless because it's just a label. It's a signifier without something to signify. We're, we're much more than a name. Uh, we, we are those things that he no longer has. Home, family, people, culture, community, place, of course. Without any of those things, symbolically, thematically, uh, of course he forgets. They're not there to remind him. And we might think how with all the changes going on, we're forgetting too. Yeah, I'm sorry that's a bit of a downer. I, like, th this is tough subject matter. Um, It's very easy to feel that the father is just hopeless and, you know, all the more powerful for uh, for being so hopeless and being so bleak. It's really designed to enable us to uh, empathise with this horrible fate that actually many of us will experience both secondhand and firsthand. But I don't want to actually say it is hopeless because I don't think it is. Maybe I'm reaching here, but I think there's actually some key symbolism that is very hopeful in the father. In this heartbreaking finale, as, as I've already mentioned, Anthony has completely forgotten himself. He really doesn't know who he is. He describes himself in a really heartbreaking scene as a tree that's lost all its leaves. Now in the very same scene, this is the last scene of the film, we end panning away from Anthony. And for the first time in the film, we actually go outside, beyond the internal world that Anthony's been stuck in for this whole film. Uh, we see a window a uh, window pane that is effectively the symbol for a barrier. We go through that window, through that barrier, where outside there are a host of trees waiting, all blooming with all their leaves, very much present and thriving. You know, this is symbolically telling us that outside of this life, beyond this barrier, there is a place where all the leaves are back, where we are restored. Maybe symbolically the father is telling us that there is some hope. And after this film, I really need to believe that. Very atypical one for me. I hope you enjoy it and definitely watch Mauler's review. It will give you a much fuller appreciation of how this amazing film was put together. I'm going to leave it there as I have a stream to do. Uh, you can catch all the streams every Tuesday. And uh, if you like what I do, please do like this video and subscribe. And I will see you on Tuesday with the next double feature horror show. Thanks, y'all. Tschüss.